Debt and ISD is dealing with budget cuts now that are plaguing school districts really across the state. And now district officials say they're postponing plans to open a new elementary school. And they also announced a hiring freeze on vacant positions. Fox Horse Peyton Yeager takes a look at the moves the district is making. Peyton. Heather and Denton ISD superintendent told us today, quote, the reality is we can no longer do more with less. So in an effort to protect classrooms from budget cuts, school officials in Denton say they are forced to make these painful reductions. The construction of Denton ISD's new Fred Hill Elementary is making significant progress. The grand opening was set for this August, but now it will be delayed to 2025 due to budget constraints. Working through it, it's the most challenging budget I think I've ever been involved with, of course. The executive director of budget for Denton ISD, Jennifer Stewart, took up the majority of time at Tuesday's school board meeting. Stewart also announced the district is closing 78 vacant positions. These are not in classroom teachers, but mostly administration. Denton ISD told Fox 4 Thursday, it's not in a hiring freeze. However, teachers and staff will not receive raises. For the third consecutive year, Denton ISD is anticipating adopting a deficit budget for the 2024-2025 school year. Currently, the district is operating with a $17.2 million deficit budget. Texas school districts are scraping by with no increase in student funding from the state since 2019 and no funding at all from the last legislative session. We're doing it. It's a good thing we've saved money for a long time. Yeah. Right? Or we, we would be where other districts are with consolidating or closing campuses. You've seen the Richardson, Plano, Garland, Mesquite, Louisville, Keller, um, all of those places. Like many North Texas districts, Richardson ISD is grappling with a declining enrollment and lack of state funding, resulting in a $28 million deficit. Just last week, Richardson voted to close four school campuses and rezone others upsetting parents in attendance. We really would like to be involved in what happens to our children and, and the decisions made that affect their lives. In February, Fort Worth ISD announced it's laying off 133 employees at the end of this school year that were funded through COVID relief money. They are non-teaching positions. Back in Denton, Board President Mia Price directed her frustration to Texas lawmakers. This should never have happened. There is no reason in the world why we should be in this position. Our legislators let us down. And Heather, all of this is taking place when Denton ISD has a half a dozen schools under construction. But back on Tuesday night's meeting, Superintendent Wilson warned that after next school year, if there are schools with fewer than 400 students, those schools will be closed.